What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrina One, and welcome to some Assassin's Creed Mirage gameplay, early gameplay before the game is released. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. This code was provided by Ubisoft, so thanks to them for allowing me to show it off to all of you. So, this is Assassin's Creed Mirage. We are in Baghdad, and we take over as Basim, or Basim, however you want to say it. Uh, so far, I've played about six, seven hours of the game and really, really loving and enjoying it. There's a lot of great things about this that kind of give it that older style Assassin's Creed feel, but it still has a lot of the mechanics from the newer games. So don't go into this thinking it's back to the original formula because you still got a lot of things that will remind you of the newer games, but it definitely has a great feeling of what it was like to be an assassin back when you were playing those early games. So I'm really, really excited to show off some gameplay. This is just going to be some free roam gameplay to show you for those of you that don't want to be worried about the story before the game comes out. Um, we're going to go around Baghdad a little bit, just uh, chill, maybe get into a fight or two and uh, have a little fun. Show you guys some different things that the game has to offer. As you can see, we have stables. Hello. Well met, sir. So this is where you can obviously get better horses or, you know, different things like that. You can see the different ones that we own. I'm going to equip my sand horse. You can see how they look as well. And you have different falcons. We're equip the sand falcon as well. further assistance. I will be this off. is what you get for getting the kind of premium edition. Uh, one of the new things in the game is the pickpocket. So essentially what you do is you walk up, hit Y, and hit Y again as soon as it's in the yellow. Now I'm playing on hard difficulty, therefore it is much, much more difficult to pickpocket than if you were just playing, say, on normal. So keep that in mind. But, uh, let's do another pickpocket here on this guy. It doesn't automatically, it goes in there, and then you just gotta get it right when you see that little spot. And it can be quite difficult to pull off. So you can actually blend in in the game, you can move around like this. Uh, you can pass time, like say right now it's nighttime, you can just hold the Y button, and it'll allow you to, um, move forward with time. The stealth in the game feels pretty good. You can assassinate essentially almost everybody that you've that I've gone up against so far, except one, as there's still guys that kind of walk around, like from the previous Assassin's Creed games that are much higher level, and you cannot immediately stealth them. It'll only do a small amount of damage, so keep that in mind. Let's see what this guy is. Good to see you. Please. Be welcome. All right, so I, I see your all different types of shops in this game. I'm, I'm not sure. sure what the scholars have. Okay, so they give you uh, maps. If anyone could lay hand to them, it might well be you. I got you. Some maps have much to reveal. And you get tokens by, you know, looting and doing certain stuff, obtain more by completing contracts, pickpocketing people, that kind of stuff. These tokens can allow you to be able to get, you know, things like this, but also have different groups help you out in certain situations, like for missions and things like that, because this is a very open-ended game when it comes to their missions. Uh, a lot of black box style missions here. And as you can see, we just picked up a necklace and a merchant favor. So sometimes you can use the merchants to help you out with specific missions. And if you have a token, then you're able to do that. So that's just like kind of another thing that you can do. Let's take a look at some of the parkour in the game. Everything is still magnetized, meaning that most of the time, let's just get into a little combat here too. So combat works. If you see that, that means you need to dodge. And if you see the, that, that means you need to dodge when it's like in the red or orange. However, when it's like that, that means you can actually parry. Sorry, it's that thing keeps getting in the way. That's why it's hard to... Like that? And then you can go in for a hit. Gives you an option that says to kill whenever you're... 
Got that opportunity. That, you have to dodge again. You've got heavy and short attacks. Oops, looks like that guy. Sorry, got on the wrong one. All right, let's slow this down a little bit here. There we go. You do have, uh, as you can see, I don't know where that one's coming from. Where's this guy at? Oh, he must have threw it before he died. Okay. Now, notice in the bottom right, you have those three emblems. One is kind of like a exclamation point, then you have an archer, and then the other one is like a fighting one. So what that means is those are your levels of the enemy kind of catching you or your notoriety, if you want to call it that. This first level means that there's going to be civilians out in the world that if they see me, they'll call for guards and can get in trouble. If it goes to the second level, that means people you see on rooftops, enemies on rooftops will start aiming at you and whatnot, plus the first one. And the third one is you can't go anywhere without being spotted and you'll immediately, uh, you know, be dead or be kind of... Uh, Everyone's going to want to come after you, so you can't hide anymore. Let's... So, what you see right here, these little things, that's how you reduce your um, kind of wanted meter, or however you want to call it. So, we just got to follow one of these. You've seen these in all the previous Assassin's Creed games, so you're used to them. You know exactly what they are. You just grab it. And now you can see we don't have any problem whatsoever. Enemies, guards, they won't mess with you. These little emblems here, they pertain specifically to grabbing, you know, special loot and items and whatnot. So let's go ahead and grab one here if we can, or try at least. Okay, you know the deal here. Looks like got a guy there we're gonna go into crouch to stealth can collect every all this stuff here just like normal got some tool upgrades we can use and here we go let's see what we picked up treasure enigma so we got some money and some other stuff and you can see that in the round city there's a total of two of them looks like there's another one 165 meters away and you essentially see how all of this works. This is kind of like a, a wall that's built around this city. All of this is always going to be restricted. That's your viewpoint. Um, you got the same thing that you could do, assassinate from, uh, from behind. The skills, depending on what skills you have, you can make it a double assassination or chain uh, assassinations here as well. You can see Here's like kind of a look of the world. Very, very beautiful looking game. I'm showing this video off in 4K HDR. It might take some time for HDR to show up, but even in just 4K, the game is, is beautiful. It looks great. Loads of fun. As far as your map goes, we can go ahead and zoom out. And you can see this is kind of like your Baghdad area. Then you've got some outskirts. Uh, this is the initial place you kind of start in, like the initial city where you'll do a few missions to start the game. Uh, very, very big area. Lots to do. Then you have a lot of outskirts, you know, down here. I haven't even really uncovered a lot of this stuff yet. Most of the stuff I've done have been inside the city for the most part. Um, there's fast travel for us if you've been to a one of these and you will be able to fast travel to it. But I can't do it right now because I am in a restricted zone. And when you're in a restricted zone, you cannot, obviously, fast travel anywhere. But yeah, the game runs good. Look at the uh, the draw distance. It's pretty, probably the best I've seen in an Assassin's Creed game. Um, yeah, 
and I gotta say, I'm just really, really enjoying it. Now, we'll take back a look at the uh, here, and you can see kind of our menu system, uh, different talent talismans that you can have for the different levels that you rank up, and obviously upgrade swords. That's a level 60, so it's the same. So you have to ask yourself. What do I want? Right now, the damage is exactly the same. However, this has a chain reaction. Every consecutive attack deals five damage up to a maximum of 50. Uh, but the one that we currently have equipped is after a perfect dodge, the next attack deals 50% damage. So if you're one that likes to dodge a lot, then that's the perfect weapon for you. You have different dies uh, that you can equip your character with. different outfits uh, this again comes with the like I said the premium edition but I like this outfit right here it makes me feel more like a stealth you got two different weapons you there are no bow and arrows in this so you've got your sword and you've got your dagger and then that's your hidden ones rank uh, different costumes I guess you'll be able to get along your way again I'm about six hours in as of this you can see the different uh, tokens that I have to help me out for favors. Invest this is your investigation. Um, I'm not going to show any of this here or whatever, but uh, this is essentially how you play the game and how it works. You've got to find clues. So when you unlock one part of an assassination, then you unlock the second, then the third, and you keep getting more and more clues until you're able to unlock um, where that person's going to be, and then you take them out, and that's pretty much how missions have gone we've been doing a lot of assassinations in this game which i think is great that's exactly what you should be doing um and then you have different bureaus that you need to go to so we've only went to two bureaus so far and there's still two other ones that will open up more and more and essentially we're getting to the end game where you're going to continue to find more about the hidden ones skills um there's not a lot of skills but as you can see uh what makes it a difference is the skills cost multiple points like right now we have four available to us so you can see kind of how that works and then you've got your codex which allow you to show the database tutorials and the history of baghdad itself so again i have been just having a blast playing this game so far and kudos to the team at Ubisoft for really making this feel like one of the better Assassin's Creed games that I have played in a very long time. I, I did enjoy Valhalla, but at the same time, Valhalla just did not feel like Assassin's Creed. But again, don't think of this game as, you know, a complete going back to the original Assassin's Creed. It's still got a lot of the makeup and flavor for the newer RPGs, but with a more emphasis on stealth and just feels really good. So I think they've done a great job. Uh, the parkour in this game is significantly better than it's ever been. Or at least I would say the parkour in um, Unity was my favorite, but this parkour, you can get around really, really good. It looks like we have one of these right here. Why don't we go ahead and grab a viewpoint? Now, here's the other thing. You can't climb everything. Like, see right now? Um, you There has to be, like, some type of surface for you to be able to touch to climb. So don't think that you can climb every single surface. That's not how this game works. Uh, it's a little different. Uh, you actually have to have specific areas for you to climb. Let's get up here and grab this. You gotta find where you can continually climb. And in a lot of cases, you'll look inside and you might have like a chest or something. Oh, looks like we got another token there. All right, so it looks like I'm going to have to go around. I see, like I said, it's not as easy to get up here as you initially would think. You know, you have to... I might have to go, yep. Yeah. So what I have to do is I actually have to go on the other side. 
to be able to climb and continue, I think. There it is. Again, this is before the day one patch, obviously, so there's still little hiccups here and there, but hopefully those will be ironed out. But uh, from my time that I've had with the game has been great. I've only had one crash my entire gameplay so far, uh, so I've really enjoyed it. The bureaus are back again, like the original Assassin's Creed, and you find them just like you did in the original. Also, you have to, um, you can locate things, bushes, things to eat, you know, a lot of things from the previous uh, few Assassin's Creed games are going to be here. But we're going to take a look at this uh, bureau up ahead here. You can see very flu, fluid combat, everything. I mean, it just feels, it feels good. I, I mean, I'm not jerking your chain or anything like that. It just, it really feels good. I love what they've done. I don't think we're going to be able to get up this way. As you can see, some micro stuttering there. See, there are certain places that you'll be able to climb. You'll be able to climb everything. So it might take you a little bit of time to get used to. Here we go. Very fluid. Very fun. All right, so here it is, 57 away. We're going to go take a look inside, and you guys can see what the bureau looks like. All right, so just like before, you know, it'll be a, a kind of an opening like this. That's how you can find it. Yeah. And when you come up in here, you know, you go inside, then you'll unlock uh, some new missions and stuff like that. I'm not trying to do that right now. Just wanted to kind of show you. Everyone's going about their day, doing whatever they want to do, you know. A lot of people talking on the streets. Civilians are a big factor in this game this year, more so than ever before, because they can ruin your stealth, they can ruin everything, because if you're in a restricted area and a civilian catches you, they will make your meter go higher no matter what, so you have to be careful. So it's a lot more... You really have to think a lot more about how you're doing stealth and what you're doing. So we got a shop here. Well met. Well met, sir. What have you got today? Please be my guest. One All right, so can always be enhanced. This is where you can upgrade specific weapons that you have. Um. You also have to have, make sure that you have enough stuff to do the upgrading. You can see there, that will bring it up to 58. I already have this. I don't have the ability to upgrade this right now because I'm missing out on something. But if I wanted to upgrade my sand sword or something like that, um, I could do that to bring that up to 63. Same thing with your dagger. I could upgrade my dagger here. The reason I like this specific dagger, even though some of the other ones like have uh, parries deal 25% defense damage, even though that's a really good one, slows down time, that's another really good one. Advanced poking power. But when you're dodging a lot of opponents, your stamina is a big thing. So in my opinion, 
it's really good to have this specific weapon because of that second wind. Stamina really makes it tough. You can change the appearance. That is awesome as well. So if I wanted my dagger to look like that, if I wanted it to look like... Um, we can choose... And it just costs a little bit, so let's say I wanted it to look like this. Right? And I wanted the dagger that I currently have to look like the dagger of time. Nothing further. I have to go. Farewell, sir. And then you can see you get this kind of like little cool effect. Uh, this is where you can Greetings. change your outfits. Nice to see you. Allow me to browse your stock. Please. Take a look. All well, right. For armor. Upgrade. We don't have quite enough right now. We already have this upgraded to the second level. Um, but that's why I love this one because it mouths, enemies hear us less when we're going in for stealth assassinations. Um, yeah. Nothing else. I must take my leave. Be well. Let's get into a little bit more combat here. Let's actually go into this whole thing right here. This is pretty close. Love how the, the dust kind of settles in a little bit. The game just looks great. So what this is... It's a pickpocket, right? But these are hard pickpockets. Very, very hard. So we're probably going to fail this. We can assassinate and we can pickpocket because this is a someone who works for the wrong side. So your best bet is to assassinate, but you got to remember all these civilians are around. So we'll try the pickpocket first. Good fail. We got it. Another shard. Picked up the shard. Nothing to see here, but notice our meter went up. So, you can't really do those things out in the open. Something is definitely... This game is not going to allow you to do those types of easy kills anymore. These civilians can really, really ruin whatever type of stealth that you're trying. There's been actually a few occasions where I've been trying to do something stealthy and, of course, a civilian saw, even though the guards themselves didn't see, and it totally, you know, ruined the whole situation and whatnot. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you can still call your horse anytime you want. And ride it around. There it is. Only thing is you can't do it from your horse. You do have to get off. All the things that you've had in your previous... these days. Previous games are still here. You've got these new things, which unlock new information. Codex. Just essentially, like, tid tidbits about the time periods and and uh, the things that you can mess around with during this time period. You need to regain your health. Yeah. And so there's a, an extensive look at uh, a few different things that I've shown off here for Assassin's Creed Mirage. Make sure you check out all of my other videos as well. This game has a lot in it, and it's going to be so much fun to continue to play this. I love just going up to anybody and pickpocketing, but again, see... Not as easy as you might think. And you see our meter went up a little bit. Especially on the hard mode. It's a lot more difficult. Um, and you can see, luckily, we, when we did this, there was no, no guards around. So that was, you know, good. 
Got your eagle vision back, which is awesome. That's much better. See, when you get too close, it won't let you do it. But he stays there for a while, then he finally goes about his way, and then you can do it all over again. Once you hit the button, it does it and moves automatically, so you don't have to worry about um, continuing to move with him. As soon as you hit Y, will automatically kind of move up. You can see any all the people that you can pickpocket as soon as you go up to them and you hit the button. You gotta be quick. But that's exactly essentially it's trying to teach you to do it more, right? You can also hire or hire uh, individual people to help you. If you get into a crowd, you will blend in with that crowd. So as long as there's like a crowd of uh, three or more or whatever, you'll blend in. So, so sometimes I just love walking around here and pickpocketing. It's like, you know, get you a lot of some are easier than others. That was a very easy and we got a pendant. So, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek into some early gameplay of Assassin's Creed Mirage. Love you all. Take care of yourself. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Peace.